Have you ever wondered how it would be to live in a place where the sun does not set for months? Welcome to Norway, the land of the midnight sun. This natural phenomenon, occurring in summer months, paints the northern parts of Norway in a perpetual daylight, with the sun visible for a full 24 hours. It's a spectacle that leaves visitors awestruck and shapes the life and culture of the Norwegians in ways that are hard to imagine. The rhythm of daily life adapts to this extended daylight, enabling activities you wouldn't associate with nighttime. It's not unusual to see Norwegians out and about, soaking up the sun at all hours, their energy undiminished by the clock. The midnight sun breathes life into the night, transforming it into an extension of the day. Imagine a life where you can go fishing at midnight under the sun. That's a regular summer day in Norway. When you think of ancient architecture, do you think of Norway? Perhaps you should. Norway is home to some of the world's most unique historical structures, the stave churches. These medieval wooden Christian church buildings are an architectural marvel and a testament to the craftsmanship of the periods they were built in. Stave churches are named after the staves or thick wooden posts that hold them up. They were once common across Northern Europe, but today, Norway is one of the few places where these magnificent structures can still be seen. The country proudly houses over two dozen of these churches, each with its own unique charm and history. What sets these churches apart, beyond the woodwork, is the intricate designs. The exterior often features dragons, carved as if they're crawling up the walls, and other elements of Norse mythology. Inside, you'll find Christian symbols mingling with these Viking Age motifs, creating an intriguing blend of the old pagan and new Christian traditions. The history of stave churches dates back to the transition from paganism to Christianity in Norway, around the 12th century. They are a physical representation of a time when the old and the new were merging, creating a unique cultural and religious blend. Preserving these ancient structures is no easy task, the ravages of time coupled with the harsh Norwegian weather have taken a toll on many of these churches. But thanks to the tireless efforts of preservation societies and the Norwegian government, these architectural gems continue to stand tall. They have undergone careful restorations to maintain their historic integrity while ensuring they survive for future generations to admire. Visiting a stave church is like stepping back in time, a chance to experience a piece of history that is uniquely Norwegian. They are not just churches, but also museums, holding within their wooden walls centuries of stories, traditions, and culture. So, the next time someone talks about historic architecture, remember to mention Norway's stave churches. They are a testament to Norway's rich history and a symbol of a time when old traditions gave way to new ones, all beautifully encapsulated in wood. Do you crave the great outdoors? Norwegians certainly do. The love for the outdoors in Norway is deeply woven into the fabric of their society. It's such an integral part of their lives that they even have a word for it, friluftsliv, which translates to open-air living. This concept is more than just a word, it's a lifestyle, a philosophy that has been passed down through generations and an innate part of the Norwegian identity. Friluftsliv is about immersing oneself in nature, respecting it, and most importantly, enjoying it. It's about taking a break from the hustle and bustle of everyday life and finding solace in the calmness of the great outdoors. It's about the simple pleasures like feeling the crisp air on your face, hearing the rustle of leaves under your feet, or the soothing sound of a babbling brook. Norwegians don't just talk about this love for nature, they live it. Come rain or shine, you'll find Norwegians hiking in the mountains, skiing in the winter, or simply enjoying a picnic by a fjord. Their cities are designed with nature in mind, with parks and green spaces never too far away. The right to roam, or Allemansretten, is a traditional right in Norway that allows everyone to freely access and temporarily camp on all uncultivated land. This love for outdoor life isn't just about physical health, it's about mental well-being too. Norwegians believe that being in nature can help reduce stress and increase happiness, it's not uncommon to see people taking a break from work to go for a quick walk in the park or even hold meetings outdoors. In Norway, outdoor life is a shared experience, a way to bond with family and friends. It's about creating memories, sharing stories around a campfire, and above all, appreciating the beauty of nature. So if you're ever feeling cooped up, maybe it's time to embrace the Norwegian way and head outdoors. Have you ever driven through a tunnel that is 15 miles long? In Norway, that's just part of the commute. Norway, a country of majestic fjords and towering mountains, 
has a unique solution to its challenging geography, an expansive network of tunnels. These subterranean passages snaking their way through the very heart of the country are an engineering marvel that truly captures the spirit of Norwegian innovation. Among these is the Lerdal Tunnel. Stretching an incredible 15 miles, it holds the title of being the world's longest road tunnel. The Lairdal Tunnel is far more than a mere underpass. It is a testament to human ingenuity, connecting the small, picturesque village of Lairdal with the city of Orland. This tunnel, like many others in Norway, was built to overcome the harsh and rugged terrain that characterizes the country's landscape. These tunnels serve as vital arteries, facilitating smooth and efficient transport across the country. They allow residents and tourists alike to traverse the country swiftly, bypassing the challenging mountain passes and fjords that could otherwise make travel daunting and time-consuming. But the tunnels of Norway are not just about practicality. They are also about the experience. The Lairdal Tunnel, for instance, is designed with safety and driver comfort in mind. It is divided into four sections, separated by three large caves. These caves, illuminated by blue and yellow lights, are intended to break the monotony and provide drivers with a surreal and calming environment as they journey through the tunnel. So, the next time you find yourself in Norway, don't just admire the fjords and mountains. Venture beneath them, through the labyrinth of tunnels that connects this beautiful country. These tunnels are a testament to how Norwegians have adapted to their environment, using innovation and engineering prowess to turn geographical challenges into opportunities. In Norway, a trip through a tunnel is more than just a shortcut. It's a journey through the heart of the country. When you hear Viking, do you think of Norway? You're not wrong. The Viking era, from the late 8th to early 11th century, was a significant period in Norway's history. It was a time of exploration, expansion, and a fair bit of raiding, shaping the cultural and historical fabric of the nation. In the heart of Norway's capital, Oslo, you'll find the Viking Ship Museum, a testament to this rich heritage. Here you can marvel at the intricate craftsmanship of the Oseberg, Gokstad, and Thun ships, which were once the pride of the Nordic seas. These vessels, unearthed from ancient burial mounds, are more than a millennium old. They serve as a tangible reminder of the seafaring prowess and artistic skills of the Viking people. But the Viking influence in Norway extends beyond these physical remnants. It seeps into the country's language, customs, and even its ethos. The Old Norse language spoken by the Vikings has left its imprint on modern Norwegian. Place names, surnames, and everyday words carry echoes of this ancient tongue. The Vikings' love for storytelling, manifested in their epic sagas, is mirrored in Norway's rich literary tradition. From Henrik Ibsen's groundbreaking plays to Joe Nesbo's gripping crime novels, the narrative spirit of the Vikings lives on. Even the Vikings' democratic assemblies, known as Things, have found their modern counterpart in Norway's parliamentary system. The country's commitment to equality and consensus, central to these ancient gatherings, remains a cornerstone of its society. Perhaps most significantly, the Viking spirit of exploration has been inherited by modern Norwegians. It's evident in their pioneering achievements in polar exploration, their innovative approach to technology, and their commitment to environmental sustainability. In essence, the Viking heritage is not just a chapter in Norway's past, it's a living, breathing part of its present, influencing everything from its language and literature to its social norms and national ethos. From their Viking ancestors, Norwegians have inherited a spirit of exploration that still thrives today. Norway, a country where the sun never sets, where ancient architecture stands strong, and where the great outdoors is a way of life. In this journey, we've explored the mystique of Norway's stave churches, wooden marvels that have withstood centuries and are a testament to Norway's rich history. We've delved into the Norwegian love for outdoor life, a culture that embraces nature in all its forms, from the rugged mountains to the tranquil fjords. We navigated through Norway's impressive tunnel system, a testament to human ingenuity and resilience, and we traced back to the Viking heritage, a legacy that still echoes in the heart and soul of Norway, each aspect, a unique thread in the rich tapestry that is Norway. So next time you think of Norway, remember it's not just about fjords and northern lights. Norway is not just about fjords and northern lights, it's a land of many curiosities waiting to be discovered.